Yeah, that's right. This is what we're trying today. Hello, Internet. This is Pierogi Crash, and I will be guiding you through a Let's Try of Uniracers. And, wow, that demo screen just... No, that's not a demo screen. That's the title again. We... Yeah, this is basically what you need to understand about this game. If you weren't alive for the 90s, there were a few number of these games... There was... That wasn't... That wasn't a sentence. There were a few <laughs> games like this that came out that were basically... Not really all that good, but to compensate for it, they were INTENSE! They were insane! They were mad! They were sick! They were cool! They were rad! And so many other words that probably don't actually exist. Anyway, so we're going to be giving that a try. Now, as you can expect from most uh, EXTREME or sports-like, I don't know if this is supposed to be sports-like games, you've got a lot of weird options here. You've got Define Player, where you can, um, I guess screw with the color. Select Y, A, that's the hardest thing in the world to press. We're going to name him Tim. I don't know why we're going to do that, and I don't know why the arrow feels the need to. Yeah, we've got bullet time for our letter selections between the uh, highlighter and the arrow. And here's the damnedest thing. Define player and rename player seem to do the exact same freaking thing. I don't know if I'm missing something there. We're gonna call him Tim again. The only difference that I've found is that um, you don't have to press select YA and define league. I don't even know what the hell to do with that. So we're gonna back out of it. And track records. But yeah, you've got... Um, I don't even know how we got here. But yeah, you've got group tables... Define, rename, you've got all sorts of weird options. Uh, mostly define, I guess. Rename is sort of normal. Now, we don't have a second player here, so we're not going to be trying that, and I don't know what Versus is, and League sounds like it's going to take a hell of a long time, so I'm just going to really show off the basics of how this game works. And, you know, the thing about it is, I don't know how this game works. I kind of do, but it really just feels like I must be missing something. But then again, maybe not, because look at how EXTREME it is! Clearly it's my fault for not figuring it out. So we're just going to start off with Crawler, and it appears... Apparently B is confirmed, you can't get out of this. They know that, uh... They know that if they let people back out of it, they're gonna, and that's going to be a problem. So anyway, there seem to be five tracks for each, um, circuit. Kind of like Mario Kart. Now the arrow, which is EXTREME AND IN YOUR FACE, will point at where you're supposed to be going. Initially, it could be right or left. And the controls are direction to move, B to jump, and L or R to rotate, and that's basically... it. I th Oh, hello! A does something. It just kind of sucks. Okay, twist. X. Okay, there actually are tricks in this game, huh? Damnedest thing. But it seems like you need to be a lot more specific with the, um... Most of the tricks. L or R just, uh, rotates you, and that seems to be fairly easy to stick. Anyway, the tricks, as far as I understand, serve no purpose other than to make you go slightly faster. Maybe... I don't think there is a score attack or anything in this game. But then again, I guess if the tricks make you go faster, then a time is sort of a score in and of itself. Um... You know, it feels like there's something on the tip of my tongue that I'm just forgetting to mention, but probably not. I mean, this game is pretty damn... This game is pretty damn mid-90s. That's what it is. So yeah, you have to keep up with, um... How did he get ahead of me? So yeah, you have to keep up with the madness and the twisting of the track that just decides to go wherever the hell it wants. And if you don't flip yourself over here, you are gonna die. Well, you're not gonna... Oh shit. You're not gonna die, but you're gonna slow down a little, and that's really a pain in the ass to deal with. See, these are pretty easy to actually do. Ow! Hey, I actually got tricks for those, even though I slowed down, so they were completely pointless. Yeah! Oh, ha ha ha. Okay, that's just, um... That's just, uh... That, that redeems this whole game. Never mind, I love this game. Um... Now, the reason why I'm actually calling this a Let's Try is, firstly, I have no intention in all hell of actually going through the entire game. Because... Look at it. 
Um, but the other part is, I have only ever actually done these first two stages. After this stage, we're going to be going through completely blind. And we can get to the next stages without actually succeeding in these stages, so that's a good thing, because we'd be here forever otherwise. So I'm probably just going to do the crawler rank entirely and let you make up your mind whether you'd like to try this game as well. Ah! Coffee fuels my brain for this. So yeah, now we are on the blind tracks. Um, I remember seeing this... Which way am I supposed to go? I'm presuming right, and I don't seem to have an opponent. Where the hell am I going? Oh, I get it. Oh, okay, the time is counting down, so this is basically a stunt challenge. That's, okay, that's actually pretty cool. I can't do... Oh, I kind of can. Twister City, you say. I see, and if you... Okay, that's not bad. If you hold the jump button, you can go a little bit higher, and the better you time it... Alright, that's actually pretty cool. Um... Okay, this game actually does have a little bit of depth that I didn't see at first. That's um, pretty cool, but I don't know why I didn't, because... Well, I swear, when I played this game before, X, Y, and A did absolutely nothing, so... I don't know. We apparently qualified. Go us. Uh, switcher. It appears to be a speed challenge. I guess that's what it is. It's just a straight run, a loop, or a... Or a screw around for bull. Anyway. We're supposed to go to the right. Okay, I see we're on different tracks, too. Fair enough. Is this just another more or less flat area, I guess? Oh, I see. You can switch the tracks. Cool. And there's goo on that. Um... It's not really worth dodging, because this, I swear, goes faster than Sonic the Hedgehog had gone crack, so it's not like you're going to be able to see that shit coming. Uh, maybe you could... Ah, I just dodged one of those by accident. I think I'm still ahead of the other guy, but then again, I always think I'm ahead of the other guy, and then he just turns out to be... Minus. Does that mean we're ahead or behind? We're ahead! Alright, good sh... Ah, oh, now we're behind. Wipe out! I'm just doing roll over and over because it's the most reliable trick by far. I bet you anything the other ones um, speed you up a little bit more, but, you know, if you screw them up, they slow you down a little. So, yeah! Suck on that! And yeah, the other bike will catch up to you uh, basically instantaneously. Once you cross the finish line. Of course, it doesn't really matter at that point, because they've lost, so who gives a crap? Um, apparently our best time before was 9.59.99. Gotta love default scores. They're either saying, you suck this much, or... Wait, what? 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 What's happening? Okay, that's actually pretty tits. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be totally honest here. That's actually pretty awesome. I know it's a ripoff of Sonic. I don't care. It's pretty cool. Because, frankly, that was an actual pretty cool aspect of Sonic, too. So, um... Oh, God, no. We didn't even speed up for that one. And then I had to scratch my forehead, so I missed the, um... I missed this, um... What was that? The... Write yourself opportunity there. Okay, this game is actually pretty cool. Um, I went into this wanting to pan the crap out of it, just um, from my initial experience, but it's actually pretty awesome. And I guess that's the point of a let's try. We try it, and we can see for sure if it's crap or not. Uh, we are so far behind, it's not even funny. Only ch Oh, what? Yeah, okay, never mind. Um, it's actually a pretty cool game, God damn it! it's just, I don't know if that's a glitch or what. Ah, stop it. It's a pretty cool game, I just don't know if that's a glitch or if that's a punishment for trying to roll and landing on it or what. 
And the other guy's already won. I think we're a pretty fair distance away yet. My god, that is extremely distracting. Yep, we're the loser. Um... I don't know if I can actually beat that or not. Well... We'll give it one more try. It's a try. It's a let's try. Alright, so... Couldn't call it a let's try if we're not trying at all. Alright, now I know what to do, so... But that guy's faster than me. So what the hell do I do about that? I guess I have to catch up on the straightaways. Hello. Oh god, what have we done? Oh, that's a recovery track. Oh my god, okay. I see. He's, um, he's switching more perfectly. You have to, you do have to switch directions. It's not like, um, it's not like Mario Kart or most other racers where you hold B or whatever. To accelerate, you do hold the direction. So, in those, this right here, in that kind of thing, you do have to switch the direction you're going. It's not like it's terribly cerebral or the hardest thing in the world to do or anything. It's just, it is something where you can actually become more efficient at it over time. Which is actually a pretty good thing. It's a surprising amount of depth to a game that seems to base itself, like a lot of games in the 90s, on being EXTREME and IN YOUR FACE and so forth. And I'm probably spitting into the mic a bit. Um, if the recording suffers, I apologize, but, you know. We are so far behind, it... Well, it is kind of funny. Um... Hey, we did actually better than last time. See, the flag didn't even go away. Um... Well, we made one colossal screw-up there. If we didn't do that, we probably would have had a chance... Alright, I swear to god this is the last try. Uh, win or lose, that's it. But, um... But it should, uh, already tell you something. I'm not actually getting pissed at the game. It's not like, um, ah, what a cheap piece of crap, glitchy, shitty game. Fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nothing like that. I, um, my screw-ups are my own. It definitely doesn't feel like the controls are suffering or anything like that. So, um, huh, we're catching up with him. We're faster than him in certain cases. I don't know how that works. And the seat is looking at us. That's, um, God damn it, 90s. That's just something you had back then. <laughs> everything was animated and everything was a mascot. Oh, damn it, that's the screw up. But yeah, everything was a mascot back then. You had uh, Mario and Sonic, so everybody else wanted to make mascots. So you had uh, Bubsy, Arrow, um... Uh, what the hell is his name? The Squirrel? I forget. Awesome Possum. All those. And even the Uniracers. Like, everybody... Okay, if everybody now is making shooters, everybody then was trying to make the next hyper-identifiable, um... video game character because then you could make sequels out of it because people would want more. Hey, it's the Uniracers! I remember them! They looked at me while I was racing! And so forth. Hey, we didn't do too bad that time, but that will be the last try. Anyway. I don't think I can back out of the... Okay, you press X to back out. That's... Seems unnecessary that B would be B and A would be confirmation. At least I think A is confirmation. It is. What is Y? Y is also back up. Okay. Fair enough. So yeah, that was um that was Uniracers. And that is the Uniracers title scroll. And yeah. This was also another aspect of 1994. People were finally figuring out how to use 3D in Super Nintendo games. So you had a lot of, um, well, you had a fair number of games like that that uh, used 3D 
And they thought it was, oh, it was so state-of-the-art and fancy and shit, even though it was rendered in 256 colors. And, you know, probably about the same resolution. What, what is the Super Nintendo's resolution? I don't think it's... I don't think it's quite 480, is it? It's... like 360 or something? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to ramble if we just keep going on like this. So yeah, that was Uniracers. That was Let's Try Uniracers. This has been Pierogi Crash. If you would like to try Uniracers or would like to see another game uh, demoed, then in respective order, go try Uniracers or tell me what game you'd like to see demoed. And that is it. Goodbye.